The animal kingdom has always puzzled us, not just for its complexity, but in terms of how we, as humans, can help better understand our own world. More often than not, it's been science that's helped bridge the gap. Whether it was Darwin developing his theory of evolution while in the Galapagos Islands, or B.F. Skinner demonstrating operant conditioning on pigeons. And yet, the more we learn about our animal cousins, the more questions they seem to pose. Here we count down eight of the most baffling animal riddles science has a hard time explaining. Amazing! Number eight, the Argentine ant. This tiny creature is actually an invasive species and has been introduced into Japan, New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, Europe, Hawaii, and the mainland of the United States. There are two striking things about these little workers. The first is that they're capable of creating super colonies. One colony in Europe, for instance, stretches almost 6,000 kilometers along the Mediterranean coast, while another in California is almost 900 kilometers long. The second question raised by the ants came after a study in 2009, which revealed that the ants in both these super colonies, plus another one in Japan, were all genetically related. Although there are theories suggesting their proliferation may have been the result of human influences, researchers are still perplexed by this genetic similarity across vast geographic distances, something that should be impossible. In order to explain this phenomenon, the scientists concluded that this might represent one global supercolony of ants. And you thought the premise of Starship Troopers with a single unified bug race was far-fetched. Number seven. The immortal jellyfish. Although its Latin name, Toritopsis dorni, may not roll off the tongue, the immortal jellyfish is definitely something worth talking about. Of the only known species able to revert to a colonial polyp phase, this jellyfish represents the closest thing to immortality in the animal world. Scientists are still baffled by the mechanisms that have given this creature its name, but a lot of it involves specially designed cells and a unique process called transdifferentiation. When a sexually mature jellyfish is wounded or becomes old, its cells begin to revert to its original polyp or colonial stage. In theory, this process could continue forever, meaning that there might be jellyfish who are biologically as old as the oceans themselves. Although scientists are quick to point out that most usually succumb to predation, it does feel a bit heartbreakingly anticlimactic to survive hundreds of thousands of years only to get quaffed down by an errant turtle. Number six, the unforgiving crow. Crows may be one of the most common animals, but it's precisely their prevalence that almost lets them fly under the radar of science, so to speak. As shown in our video about clever animals outsmarting humans, crows are incredibly intelligent. For instance, they've been able to figure out zippers, understand water displacement, and figure out puzzles to get treats, with many scientists suggesting their reasoning level is about equal with a seven-year-old child. But one study took this claim of intelligence even further by showing that crows were able to recognize faces and hold grudges. A group of students in Seattle captured seabirds, tagged them and released them, all while wearing scary masks. Later, while walking on campus with the masks on, the birds would screech and dive bomb the students. But what was unprecedented was that the other birds who hadn't been captured also started to dive bomb them, suggesting that the animal crows had somehow taught their brethren. Other studies have shown that even the next generation of crows tend to hold these same biases and different crows have regional dialects in terms of their vocalizations, adding some weight to the idea that they might have some form of language. But biologists still haven't pinned down what they're trying to say to one another, or how they're able to communicate the threat of something so specific as people in masks to the rest of their brood. Maybe Alfred Hitchcock was onto something. Number five, the lonely platypus. The duck-billed platypus is just plain weird and looks like something cooked up in the lab of Dr. Moreau. What makes it stand out though is the fact that it's one out of only five mammals that reproduces by laying eggs and the only member of its family, Ornithorhynchidae. Try pronouncing that. What's even more puzzling is it's also one of the only mammals that has venom, located on a small spur on its foot, which can cause excruciating pain to humans. A 2004 study discovered that platypuses had 10 sex chromosomes, as compared to only two in other mammals, and that they contained both mammal and reptilian genes. 
Scientists are still not quite sure why or how this adorable aquatic creature came to inhabit such an exclusive genus and why there aren't more species like it. Although fossil records do indicate that there may have been a number of cousins to the platypus who have died out. Number 4. Electromagnetic cows Yes, cows are even more banal than crows, but they do exhibit one of the more baffling behaviours in the animal kingdom. Researchers at the University of Duisburg-Essen went through 8,150 photos of different pastures as well as deer bed impressions in the snow using Google Earth and discovered something amazing. Whenever deer or cattle were grazing, they all tended to face in the same direction, orienting themselves either towards the magnetic north or south. A number of different animals such as birds and turtles have been shown to have sensitivity to the electromagnetic poles of Earth, but this is the first indication that cows may also react to magnetic fields. We still don't know what purpose this internal radar plays for the cow, since their domestication makes it an irrelevant adaptation. So, if you find yourself inexplicably drawn to North after eating a McDonald's burger, don't fret too much. Number 3 Phytoplankton Paradoxes Phytoplankton are one of the most abundant life forms on the planet. They fill the oceans and yet are almost invisible to the naked eye, even though they play a significant role in the environment. But despite their biological simplicity, they also represent one of the more confounding paradoxes in nature. Generally, the rule of biodiversity says that the more resources there are, the higher the level of diversity and life. But this doesn't ring true for phytoplankton. In the Arctic Oceans where there is plenty of nutrients, there is a surprisingly low population of phytoplankton. And while there are some theories, there's no clear understanding of why phytoplankton don't flourish in these dead zones, which has led scientists to call it the Antarctic Paradox. Number 2. The Abominable Yeti Crab in 2005, the first of these creatures were discovered along the Pacific Antarctic Ridge, and there are now three distinct species. But what hallmarks all of them are their hairy legs, which led their discoverers to name them Yeti Crabs. Scientists were initially baffled by these crabs, since no one could explain their hairiness. However, later research showed that living near hydrothermal vents was handy, since their hairy appendages are actually full of filament bacteria which grows like a microbe farm on their arms, and is thought to detoxify some of the more poisonous substances that come out of the vent. But on closer look, scientists also theorised that the Yeti crab primarily ate this bacteria as its staple food. There are still a lot of questions regarding this specific adaptation, and how they are able to occupy such a tiny ecological niche. In many cases, they have less than three feet of habitable space, and tend to congregate in huge piles. Too close to a vent and they burn, and too far away and they freeze to death. Number 1. Bumblebee Flight The idea that bumblebees shouldn't physically be able to fly, and are somehow defying physics, has been embedded in the public's consciousness for a long time. And we have French entomologist Auguste Magnan to blame for this conclusion he came up with in the 1930s. However, more recent studies have revealed that the bumblebee is actually using a more complicated system of flight. Michael Dickinson from the University of Washington used a robotic bee wing and high-speed photography to show that bees actually flap left to right, as opposed to up and down. This sweeping motion creates tiny low-pressure vortices that help to keep the bee aloft. While this doesn't give us the whole picture of how a fundamentally non-aerodynamic creature is able to fly, it does shed some light on a number of more complex underlying mechanisms that might be at work. Another study by a researcher in China confirmed this by strapping tiny pieces of glass to bees and letting them fly in a box that was bombarded by lasers to track their positioning. I don't know about you, but getting paid to shoot lasers at bees seems like one of the best jobs out there. So, do you have a favourite animal that seems to have some sort of weird behaviour that seems to defy nature? Let us know in the comment section below. Just please don't ask about why dogs sniff each other's backsides.